Good morning, kiddos. This is Mr. B. It is week six, Monday the 11th, Tuesday the 12th, if you are fifth period. Um, well, the work this week is on the perfect fifth. Last uh, time we were here at school before the break, three weeks ago, uh, we covered the perfect fourth. We are skipping right now the tritone, and we are going to cover the perfect fifth. We're going to come back to the tritone next week, the tritone being directly opposite of the tonic in a pitch space class. This week, the work that you're making is uh, essentially taking Stanley Clark's uh, poetic justice, the groove from that, justice's groove, and uh, we are putting the lyrics from uh, Lift Every Voice and Sing, the Black National Anthem, to that. This will eventually be part of something larger, but for right now you're working on this smaller part of what will be a round. Um, so this week you'll be setting up at 69 beats per minute. Your metronome should be off when you are finished. You'll have two piano parts and a voice. Essentially you're taking the work that you did in P4 uh, for the perfect fourth from last time we had an assignment for week five, and you are adding your voice to it. That's really it. I'm going to explain the whole thing for those who, uh, you know, don't follow the trends, but that's what this is. Uh, the two piano parts that you're playing are uh, D, A, G, and D. The interval between the D and the A is what is a perfect fifth, and this is the bass part, and then this is the melody line, ultimately, and then you're singing on top of that. So here's how it sounds. Now, for those of you that are a little bit more shy vocally uh, and you don't care to sing, I will allow you to speak and use spoken word. Uh, considering, look again at the uh, rubric for the assignment, uh, this, the, the vocal element is one-fourth of the grade for the assignment. So if you don't do it, uh, you know, your, your points are challenged. So make sure you do at least try to speak if you're not willing to sing. Here's how something like that would sound. <laughs> And again, this isn't just about jumping off a cliff and being brave. This is music class, so the intention here is for you to also make sure that you are following along with the rhythm, okay? So when a melody line, there's the beat, and then there is the rhythm. The rhythm is the beat portion of a melody. So in this case, the rhythm is lift every voice and sing. Till earth and hair, then ring. And that's what I want you to ultimately be practicing in this. So to make this, here's how we're going to start. I'm going to start from scratch, as I do. And we are going to start here with our traditional alchemy, synth, and epic cloud, and main categories, and keyboards, and classical grand, and we're back here. And in the first thing we need to do is to uh, get ourselves to a tempo of 69 beats per minute. Now, 69 here turns out to be uh, consonant with uh, the tonal center of the song. So we're coming down here to 69 BPM. There's 69 BPM. And then we have to make sure that we are in the uh, D2 range. And again, I'm not getting into mincing words anymore about, you know, what is correct and what isn't correct. Really, again, this is middle C, which is C4 in scientific pitch notation. Uh, it isn't here. So we'll just, you know, use my nomenclature here and, and you'll be fine. So this is the D2. And then there's the A2, G, and then the D. So we're playing D, A, G, D. A, G, D. So really the pattern is A, G, D, but with the first time we're starting and we're playing the, the D first. So that's how this is going to look. Two, three, four. And I messed up. So I will start over.
So now we have that piano part recorded. And I would suggest keeping the metronome on for now. Uh, you're going to duplicate that piano track so it saves you a little bit of time. And we're going to come back into the piece. Now this time around, we're looking for the A3 through the D4. And so we're going to go ahead and scroll. I was already there. Uh, A3 through D4. Here's our A3. And here's our D4. And so on that part, we've got the, the, the lower part going. And we're doing... So when you start this, when you're starting on the A, one, two, one, two, three, to the D. One, two, three. Because it's going to match our lyrics that we're singing or speaking. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. I'm thinking a little bit of liberty there, but it'll work. So uh, this goes like this. We're going to record it. on that. We can turn off our metronome now. All right, so you're set there. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to need headphones. Now over the last few weeks, I have asked everybody to make sure that they had headphones. Uh, so hopefully uh, you, in fact, still have them and you'll be able to do the next part of this. Now, I can't demonstrate this part and share it with you all at the same time because of what would be called feedback. But ultimately, you will plug your headphone jack into the headphone output on the side of your iPad. Now, your microphone is still going to be active. The microphone is here. There's a little hole in the side of the I uh, iPad that still allows the microphone to work. Now, the way that works is this, and I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate it, even though it's not going to be perfect. You're going to come in here and you will add a track. So you're adding a track. Now the track that you're going to add this time, and I could have gone the other way, I guess, is a vocal track. So you're adding voice. Now you have the, the reason why you want the headphones is because with headphones on you can turn the monitor on. That is called feedback. So that is why you need the headphones on. Now, I know the song well enough, and I can trust myself well enough, and you could do this too, where you could record it without the headphones. You just wouldn't be able to hear yourself performing, and that would look like this. So now we're, we're ready there in queue. We know we got the microphone queued up. You touch the microphone to come back, and then we're going to hit. And remember, right away, we start out, and it's lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Now, one thing I've been singing since I was like three, uh, one thing that does matter is what you do physically matters in terms of how you sing. If you're smiling, it kind of comes through. But uh, so that's a way of doing it without headphones. I would rather you had the headphones so you can hear yourself and monitor your own voice. But this is a way of doing it if you can't. Uh, so again, no options. You've got to do it. Again, you can do the spoken word instead, but this is how it sounds now. With every voice and sing. And that is the expectation for this week's assignment. Again, as usual, you'll come up to the top here, uh, screen record, and then submit that by the usual channels via 
Canvas. Again, this is week six. Uh, this is for period one, Monday, January 11, and period five, Tuesday, January 12. You will need headphones. I showed you a way of doing it without headphones. Again, we're studying the perfect fifth. Uh, it is uh, week six, BPM 69, and there are two piano parts and then your vocals. Hope you are all well and welcome back.